If the Korean girl is being honest, she is about the bravest person on the panel to open up. Still, though, get out of your head and enjoy your amazing life. Amen. Yeah. Do you have a response to Grid 1? Thank you. And yes, I am being honest. No, I'm not a liar. Like, these (laughs) things really happen, and it has affected me to this day. And I'm slowly working on overcoming that. That's why I do therapy once a week. I speak with the therapist and, like, like let everything out instead of just keeping it bottled up all the time. What, What was the primary precipitating factor of your anxiety, if there was one? You mentioned it came up during COVID. Was it the COVID, COVID kind of exacerbated? I think aggravated it more, like made it worse. Okay. But I think I like I did have some anxiety beforehand, before the pandemic even started. Was there was there a precipitating factor? Um, I can't think at the top of my head. I think I'll could, could we maybe get back to me on that once I like figure out. I have to look back because I feel like it does. Um, it stems all the way back to childhood, the way I see it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Then we're gonna really Sorry. Get Sometimes <laughs> it's um, an imbalance, though, like in your brain, right? Like it's not just necessarily things externally. It's something you might be. I mean, I think you know. some people are naturally more neurotic, but if you have that inclination and your experiences like trigger it, that's when it becomes like a life like a, something that makes your life dysfunctional, which it means that it's a like a diagnosed illness. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't think my life is dysfunctional and I have anxiety. Like, well, and everyone I take, has anxiety, but like, no, but do I take you medication feel like for it. you're living in a life or death situation when you're just, when you're not in fact like having your life threatened? Like anxiety somewhat is a physiological response that you're being threatened in some way and that you're in danger. Because your heart is beating, you're, you're breathing heavily, like you feel like you're dying. I feel like that's not, in most cases, anxiety to a lot of people because my anxiety isn't like trauma-related things because it came from when my parents divorced at like four and it's just like things like that. Certain things trigger my anxiety and make it worse, but like I don't think it... So there's nothing like, like physical about it? Not really, it's just all in my head. Okay, I feel like that Which is what in, that most mental illnesses is, is it's mental. It's not like something that's like yeah. projected. Well, I was diagnosed with anxiety disorder when I was a child. I got over it completely in a few years. And I feel like not having physical symptoms of well, like panicking or Well, it's a mental illness. There's like nothing that. physical about something it's that's mental. It's not consistent with like the diagnostic criteria for a mental illness and like how they define that is that it makes your life dysfunctional. Like you're not able, like it. Like it, you can't see. Like your hands feel weird. Like, I mean, that happens like during panic attacks and, and anxiety. And it's all just in the head, but you feel it physically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I, yeah. I think that's what you mean physically. Everyone right? experiences like worry in their head, but I don't think that really is the same thing as anxiety. No, I get where as, you're like, coming from, disorder, but you know? I feel like it's different for everyone. Like, there's no specific, like, definition of what anxiety is for a person. I don't know. Because she may have anxiety about touching a door. No, I I feel like a lot of people are also encouraged to embrace these labels, and it's debilitating to tell yourself, Well, you said it was dysfunctional. I can't can't do things because I have anxiety or I have whatever, like, disorder. Then you're just um, kind of leaning on that crutch and not... I mean, Allowing some people can. And I'm, it's awful. I personally don't. I don't let it hold me back. But I just don't think it makes you a dysfunctional person. That's like the only thing well, that I want to like. The definition of like a mental illness is that it, it does affect your life and, and affect your ability to function as an adult. Dysfunctional would be like you're not operating normally. Right. Yeah. Or properly. No, I get that. If the normal state of being is not in an anxious state, then you could argue that being in an anxious state is a non-normal state of being yeah i mean i could probably argue this just just i just don't really think it makes you a dysfunctional person but i understand the definition of a mental illness is that it makes you not normally like functioning but word (laughs) word yo guys go to twitch.tv slash whatever drop us a follow drop us a prime sub 
Uh, can you switch it? Uh, Blick, thank for the prime. Dragon, thank for the prime. Oh, I think maybe you already. Jack, I think I got these. Ken's, thank for the prime. Raven, thank for the prime. Twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow in the prime sub. We have Austin here. Uh, let's see. Violet, can you read this one? Brian, I agree with almost all your opinions except the woman doing the draft. I'm a vet and I really don't think women should be in the military in general. I also would not want my daughter being forced to see the horrors of war. Um, very I'm a vet and I really don't think women should be in the military <laughs> in general. I also would not want my daughter being forced to see the horrors of war. Well, I mean, women I like can you be. You're just joking, right? About the draft? Yeah. No, I definitely think women should be drafted, 100%. Okay, the problem is, though, like, just in a practical sense, our male soldiers are going to be way less competent because their instinct is to protect the women that they see in the battlefield, mm -hmm. and then everyone loses in that situation. Well, but also, what, we, like, have a sense that women have inherent value, men have value based on what they provide. Well, the thing is with the draft, there are non-combat positions in the military so, I mean, true equality would, if you can get drafted as a male and be sent to the front line, true equality would be you as a female being drafted and sent to the front line. Of However, course. there are certain yeah. biological rea realities when it comes to warfare and combat where it's, you can make very strong arguments for why men are more capable frontline soldiers. Wait, um, do you want do equality? You, huh? Do you like want equality? Or are you just like trying to tell people that the logical conclusion of Equality is like well, we, insane things like women being drafted into war. Like, well, is that the point you're trying to make, or do you like actually want equality? Like, you're being serious. I actually. Well, are you I, trying to make like a philosophical point, or are you serious that you like you want <laughs> equality? No, in reality, in actuality, I think if men are subject to military conscription, and if we have a push for equality, if we live in an equal society, then women should also be subject to military conscription. But like now we can have a conversation of where those people end up going. Now we can we could say that for the good of the military, we should put uh, drafted women in support roles in the, there's plenty of support roles in the military that are important. Okay, but so I'm, they I'm shouldn't not, be in combat. They they could be, they could be. But would it be better for men to be in the? Wait, what sure. are you saying? Like we have this push for equality. Like, are you saying that you want equality, or are you saying like society at large yes, is kind of I'm being saying... coerced into? Well, the, the gender equality. The, there is like no the the cat's out the of the paradigm. bag. The the uh, the cat's out of the bag. We have a the cat's push. not out of the bag until women and men are the same, and they're never gonna be. Right, but like men... inequality will always <laughs> exist. Right, but when it comes to military conscription, women are capable of women are okay, women are already able to enroll in the military. They're mm -hmm. able to uh, fill a vast array of roles in the military. Some women see combat, some women are more in support roles. Ergo, you can if you can get drafted as a man and be put in a support role, so too should women be dr be subject to military conscription and be put in a support role. That's your personal opinion, or are you what, trying to? Like, I don't know make why you're making point. it. Yes, my position is that hmm. when it comes to military, are conscription, you an egalitarian? Am I an egalitarian? Uh, yes, I am an egalitarian. Do you believe that men and women are different? Absolutely, yes. Well, why would you be an egalitarian? That doesn't make sense. Why should everyone be treated no, no, there's the same? A, there's a difference 